Here we go, another month, the end of Q1, because now I talk in business terminology 24 seven apparently. I honestly can't believe that it's almost April and it's still 30 degrees in Chicago, but that's okay. Hopefully April will bring warmer weather. But yeah, welcome to another plan with me video. This is my second plan with me video on my channel. It's a new series I started doing just because I love watching other creators do it and I just, Wanted to do it for you guys too. Also, I really need to get organized. March was a crazy month for me. I got sick two different times. I went to Louisiana for half a week. So it was a little bit all over the place. But yeah, we're gonna reflect about it. We're gonna see what goals I hit and we're gonna plan for April. I just love the beginning of a new month. I know I say this every time, but it's just such a great way to get a fresh start, reevaluate things, and I'm excited. I feel like half of my face is a little bit dark, so I'm gonna move my camera. <laughs> That's better. Hi. Okay, I'm pulling up my Notion. This is my homepage. Step by step, day by day, you are your home. I just love seeing those quotes on my homepage. Let's go ahead and go into my monthly goals and see what I ended up accomplishing. First one, 15K YouTube subscribers. I did not reach that, but that's okay. We move on. I do need to probably start coming up with more realistic goals, but I also like to make it a little bit lofty so that I have something to reach for, but sometimes it gets discouraging when like month after month I'm not reaching my goals. So maybe I'll make that one a little bit more realistic, but then my end of year goal is 50 subscribers. So I feel like I'm a quarter of the way through the year. Like I need to be starting to get closer to that, but it's okay, step by step. 8K Instagram, I'm not there yet either, but I am really close. I did have a lot of growth. I also am gonna give myself grace a little bit because there were, I feel like I saw like two weeks where I was kind of out of commission between being sick, being home in Louisiana. March was just like kind of like a slump period for me just because I was so, I don't know, affected by the weather, I think. And there were a lot of changes in my job, which you guys know if you watch my vlogs. So it's been a bit of a hectic month, but so I'm gonna give myself grace on these. Again, I did not reach 65K TikTok followers. Listen to Bonnaroo artists. I feel like I did that a little bit, but I still never made these playlists that I mentioned that I wanted to make. So I'm gonna make sure I do that this week. I'm making this on I think the 28th. So I have a few days left in March. So I have a few days to like still solidify everything before I get started on April 1st, like really going after things. So I'm gonna make those playlists this week and then have those ready for April because June is fast approaching, which is wild, but that's when Bonnaroo is. Heat wave is also in June. I again did not do that. This is not looking good for me, but I'm gonna make those playlists too. Read a fiction book. I did did, I read Lessons in Chemistry. It was such a good book. I'll put that on my bookshelf in a second. Read a nonfiction book. I ended up finishing The Defining Decade, which I mentioned in my last month recap. And then I started, what is the name of it? I just know it has the F word in the title. Oh my God, what is the name? How to not give an F? What is the name of it? Wait, let me look this up. <laughs> the Subtle Art of Not Giving an F. So I started reading that. I'm about 50% of the way through. So that's like half a check mark on the nonfiction category. I honestly don't love this book. It's just not really my style, but it is interesting. I'll definitely aim to finish that by the end of the week, which I think I should be able to. And then I'll be able to check that off. Get all of my doctor's appointments done. X-ray, ear appointment. Okay, I'm actually gonna separate this out in two different goals because I've done a lot of this. Actually, okay, wait, I'm gonna separate x-ray. That's the only thing I didn't get scheduled or done, but I did get all of my other doctor's appointments scheduled or done. So I'm gonna give myself that one. X-ray I didn't do. I'm gonna do that sometime in April. Meet with a celiac dietitian. I did that. Get electric toothbrush. I got my electric toothbrush. I haven't set it up yet, but I did get it. And sign with management. I signed with a manager, you guys. I'm so excited for like social media stuff. Yeah, I couldn't be happier about that, so. That's very exciting. All right, I'm gonna move all of these down into here. And now it's time to make my goals for April. Oh my God, wait, I haven't even thought about this yet. Okay, let's see here. In terms of social media, I do think I need to maybe calm down a little bit. So I'm gonna say 13K YouTube subscribers. I cannot spell, okay. Oh my God, <laughs> subscribers, subscribers. Okay, I'm like floating my laptop on my knee, so it's a little wobbly. I am gonna be crazy and say 10K Instagram, because why not? For TikTok, okay, with the TikTok ban and everything, I've been so, well, let me rephrase that. There isn't a TikTok ban, but there's a lot of talks of a TikTok ban. I've kind of been really unmotivated with 
TikTok content. But we'll say 65 just to like, you know, keep things moving there. I've been around 60 for quite some time now. I'm gonna just copy these two over because I need to listen to Bonnaroo and listen to Heatwave artists. I'm going to read another fiction book and read a non-fiction book. I want to post at least one youtube short every day i've been really slacking on that i just forget to post the shorts so i need to remind myself to do that i also want to try to go on a walk every single day because i i don't know i think hopefully the weather will start getting warmer but even if it's not i need to just force myself to go outside because i just think it's good for me literally the past three days i mean i've been sick so like that's the reason but i just have not left my apartment <laughs> Ooh, i want to go into the office at least once a week so let's say go into office once a week or four times total. Switch it up a little bit. What else should I do? I feel like with my workout grind, I kind of want to get back on that. So I'm going to say do four workout classes a week. Get my x-ray done. Oh, I actually need to set up my electric toothbrush. I ordered it, but I haven't set it up yet. I also need to set up my hatch alarm clock honestly i'm hoping i'll just get that done this week because i've been really putting that off and i need to implement changes from celiac dietitian so basically my celiac dietitian gave me a bunch of changes i need to make to the kitchen to like a bunch of different things that i'm eating and stuff so i need to implement all of those yeah and then i kind of want to ask something about cleaning this i'm actually getting a deep clean done next week this like cleaning service in chicago reached out to me but I want to do something about like keeping the apartment clean so i'm gonna say like every night have a closing shift in the apartment just to like tidy things up because i feel like throughout the week sometimes the apartment can get a little bit messy and i think especially in the spring it's just really important for it to be like super clean okay those are my monthly goals i feel like that's the most monthly goals i've ever had but a lot of them are very specific and won't take super long yeah this is exciting oh my god okay we got this for april all right and then checking in on my long-term goals 50k subscribers on youtube 15k instagram followers i'm actually i feel like the closest to that than any other of my social media goals read 24 books we're getting there i feel like this summer especially when i'm flying i love reading books when i'm flying in an airplane just something about it is so peaceful it really helps the time go by really fast so when i'm gonna start traveling more i'm gonna be like going through books just like that and i love my kindle i'm like obsessed so those are my goals now let's get into let's go to the bookshelf because i just want to go ahead and put this in okay lessons in chemistry it's fiction date finish when did i finish it i was i feel like i was flying back from shreveport i literally read this book in like three days it was so good march 18th loved it it was just like very unique i know that's such a bad word to describe a book but it was just like so cool and specific and not something that i think i would be interested in but like the story was just beautiful and like so specific it was based in the 1950s and there was like a romance in there but it was also a lot about like women and career and yeah i mean again it kind of like got me thinking about love career history like women in history motherhood because i mean they say this in like the first page so it's not a spoiler but the protagonist is a single mother loved it I think I rated it an 8 out of 10 on my Instagram story, very official. Just because, I mean, the title is Lessons in Chemistry. And, like, I was never really a science person, so the title didn't really, like, draw me in. I just heard, like, a lot of my friends really liked it. Yeah, there were kind of a lot of chemistry verbiage used throughout. Like, a lot of different formulas and stuff, and that part was, like, not exactly the most interesting to me. Even though I did appreciate the metaphor and, like, the connection to the story. And it was just the protagonist's mind thinks through chemistry and, like, chemistry chemistry equations and stuff but like that's not how my mind thinks so it was interesting to see that and like i love that it was a part of the book but just for me personally those passages where she really got into like the chemistry of it all was like not super enjoyable for me but i respect that it was needed in the plot i guess i should also add the defining decade which is self-help and i think i ended up finishing that a little bit later than i intended to but i think it was march 15th that was on my trip so like see i really love reading on flights and this was like a 10 out of 10 obsessed very insightful and just i felt like i was the target audience so it was just perfect like going to read again all right that's it for the bookshelf now let's go into the content trackers so youtube this is like my calendar 
Okay, where's the trackers? Can you tell it's been like a month since I've done this? Oh, here we go. <laughs> All right, let's just go in order. Instagram, Instagram growth. Okay, January. Oh wait, <laughs> what am I saying? Okay, March, follower count, 7195. Okay, that's actually a big difference, I feel like from February. So that's exciting, oh my God, okay. Now let's go into YouTube. So here we have March, I have 11.1K. In terms of watch time and views, I'm honestly not sure. I <laughs> I should have this info. Okay, I put views, it looks like I was, I need to get way more organized. It looks like I was tracking views, like lifetime views, I think. Or no, no, maybe this is right. I think my views were really down because I didn't post any shorts. Yeah, I think this is so right. Okay, so my views were 183.5K, not 13. <laughs> 183.5k okay watch time i haven't been tracking that definitely have room to improve on youtube i feel like it's been slow but steady i think i definitely grew more in january to february than i did from february to march so that's why one of my goals is to post more shorts because i feel like that's where i really get like the new audiences so yeah okay now let's go back to tiktok tiktok growth so march i think i'm at 60 0.6k views i'm not sure about views let me look it looks like i had 640k views i feel like i definitely posted less in march than i have in other months but it was still a lot higher than december but january was really killing it so we have that tracking there now let's go back to the home page oh my favorite part planning upcoming events so this was everything I did in March. Ended up being a crazy month, but it was fun. Let's see what I have going on in April. April 1st, I have friends dinner. It's kind of like a dinner party. Like it's not just a normal dinner or else I wouldn't put it in here, but it's like kind of like a dinner party special thing that one of my friends is putting on. Let's see, Easter is in April. I don't have any, you know, plans for that necessarily, but it's Easter. I have some influencer events coming up. So I have the hotel Zachary event one of my friends birthday parties I don't think I'm going to Coachella you guys. It's like so sad I tried to manifest a brand ship to Coachella, but I don't think it's gonna happen So unfortunately Coachella is not on my April plan with me. Yeah, I really don't have like a crazy amount of fans It seems like maybe I should do a trip. That would be fun <laughs> Especially if it's still cold in Chicago. I think that's really it I feel like I don't really have any any other plans. So there we go. Hopefully this list will grow That's my notion plan with me. I'm gonna be updating my bullet journal as well but i feel like that's just kind of boring to like go through with you guys and basically just rewriting everything that i wrote but like in my bullet journal then i also like to track and reflect about different restaurants i went to things i did just like journal and reflect about the month obviously this was kind of a crazy month for me it definitely didn't go to plan and i feel like i definitely fell short on a lot of my goals just because there was a lot going on but hopefully in this limbo period between the end of march and the beginning of april i'll be able to kind of get my <laughs> stuff together let me know what your goals for april are and hopefully you have some exciting plans too thanks for planning along with me this was so much fun i feel a lot more organized now i was kind of feeling all over the place before this so yeah i post a new video every sunday and wednesday so subscribe so you don't miss it i do this plan with me series once a month to plan for the month ahead and yeah i'm so glad that you stayed and watched till the end thanks for watching and i'll catch up with you guys next time bye